Hi guys, this is me Ty, and I'm just coming back to do a quick update on some of the items I got for my Fairyland Pukafi Vanilla. Um, I'm still waiting for some more clothes for her to come. However, I was able to get in um, these little pajamas, which aren't much, these and uh, this set. These are actually um, La La Loopsie Little clothes that I bought off of eBay that I heard would fit her. Um, it's not something I particularly wanted to dress the doll in, but they were cheap and I was, it was gonna be a long wait for to get the outfits, for me to get the outfits that um, I had ordered from Etsy. And I was tired of leaving the doll in the box. So I was like, let me buy this for now. It shipped very fast and the uh, um, seller was very nice. And uh, this way I can, take the doll out of the box and finally dress her up now that okay, I have some other and items. Besides the clothes, I have a few other of her items came in. Um, again, I'm still waiting for the off clothes I ordered from Etsy for her. But uh, let me start with this. But um, I did get uh, the wig cap in for her. Um, because the nature of the resin that the ball jointed dolls are made out of. Um, occasionally, depending on the color of the wig, it, if left on too long on a doll, it could possibly stain the doll's head. Um, and so they usually recommend you put a wig cap, a silicone wig cap on underneath the wig to protect the doll's head in case you, I mean, if you ever want to resell her or just have a collector's piece that isn't stained. And uh, this is cheap. I paid only about a dollar with free shipping on eBay it was really good and I mean it came from China but it shipped very fast to the US so I was very surprised when it showed up also what came was I'm not gonna show you my address but a lot of doll owners um, especially for smaller dolls they do dioramas for the dolls which is like um, miniaturized rooms I don't think I will be doing that uh, I do like little miniature pieces, little dollhouse, collectible dollhouses, things like that. I don't have any of those, but I really don't think I will be making any one of those. However, I was, since I'm not doing that, I was wondering how I'm going to display the doll since she doesn't have a stand or anything. And I decided to try to get a piece of miniature furniture for her, like um, a bed that I can put on the shelf and have her sit on that. So it looks kind of like a doll room but not quite I mean it's gonna sit on a bookshelf and I had a hard time finding a bed that would fit the length of the doll and I went on eBay and ended up getting one of the um, town square miniatures it's a white trundle bed um, originally I wanted a day bed because I think that would look nicer as a display kind of like half bed half couch situation um, but I couldn't find one of those. Well, not a cheap alternative for what I was looking for. Uh, but I did get this one here. And like the clothes, um, like I said, I bought this on eBay. And the seller, well, this wasn't the price I paid for it. It actually was much cheaper um, and still good condition. And it shipped very fast, and I was very surprised it got here when it did. I mean, it made it here before a lot of the other things I ordered. Peanuts. But here it is. It's a white miniature um, 112 scale trundle bed. Uh, you can see it has the drawers. Here's the top portion, the slats. It's wooden or imitation wood. I'm not quite sure. It looks like wood. Um, here's the other side of the bed. Here's the footboard. Sorry, it's crooked. Um, again, here's the mattress of the bed. It's covered. It's mostly like cardboard with a piece of foam in it covered in like um, this thin fabric. So I guess I would get some doll bedding to add to the bed to make it look more authentic. Um, but as you see, it's a nice length for the doll. And also, as it being a trundle bed, you pull out the drawers and here's another bed, so-called bed, um, just like a real trundle bed with um, 
another one of the uh, the foam inserts. It's kind of okay. Here it is. Um, the only thing I don't like about it being that it's a miniature, you can't really pull this bed out all the way without it falling off. As you see, there's like you know, on a real trundle bed, there will be like wheels or something that will keep it level once you pulled it out. And this doesn't have that. But I mean, hey, it's a miniature. What am I expecting? It's not like she's going to have doll sleepovers or anything like that. So this is okay. Um, oh, and also came um, with a mini, a mini pillow to go on the bed. So here it is again, guys, with the pillow. And I think it's really cute. It's really adorable. And this way with the drawers, even as a bed, I mean... Yeah, it's a little miniature bed, but it can sit propped up on my bookshelf. Not that bookshelf. I'm getting a new shelf. But it sits propped up on a shelf, and she can sit on that. Um, because being that she was an expensive doll made of that resin, it I'm so nervous that standing her up or propping her up anywhere, I'm going to end up banging into the shelf or something and knocking her off and dropping her, which is why I just wanted to get a bed to lay her on. Because, you know, I mean, with my Nendoroids, I don't, I haven't knocked any of them over yet. I do have one of those kid robot little mini figures that falls all the time. So I'm hoping it won't be the same with the doll because that is just so expensive. I just don't want anything to happen to it. Um, so I'll use this to prop her on when displaying her on the shelf. Um, what I have next is also what I got from eBay, but these are sold in other sites as well. Um, it's a, Mo a Monique Gold doll wig size 5-6 for the Pookie Fee. Comes in Monique Gold Collection and it was, a, I mean, it was an okay price on eBay. It wasn't bad. And like I said, it's a miniature wig to fit the doll, supposedly in the doll size. I haven't put it on her yet. But guys, this wig, I mean, Monique Gold wigs were recommended online and they are so, such good quality. They're synthetic, but they're so good. Look at this. I mean, you can't really tell in a plastic, but this quality. I mean, this looks better than some wigs I've seen on, like, dolls I bought. I mean, like, I will see in a doll store or, like, wigs I will see in beauty um, supply shops. It's really good quality for a doll's wig. Really small. Can't wait to try it on her. Hopefully this color fits her. I don't know. Like I said, I have yet to put it on her. And I have another wig coming. Um, not a Monique Gold wig, but it's a different color, different style. You'll see. And last of what I have to show you is... Oh, let me just close that. It's from the online doll store, Mimi Wu. She makes, um, they sell doll shoes. And look at this. It was, they're such cheap prices. That's why I got as many as I did. And I should have gotten more. Um, look at the quality on the shoes. I mean, I can't put it on the doll until I get the outfits that these are supposed to match. But for doll shoes, I mean, can you see how good the quality is on that? Look at these boots. Look at the soles on the boots. Really good quality for doll shoes. Um, the other side has a little skull on this one. Um, and I got these sneakers. So cute. Look at this again, the soles. Look how well made this is. The fabric. Really good. I got these orange sneakers. See the laces on them? They're so cute. And when they like flip down, they have like a yellow fabric. I don't know if you can see it there. Let's see. Let me pull it out. I'm really happy with this purchase. Like I said, they were a really good price, cheaper than anything I saw on eBay. And yeah, really good shoes. They look kind of like some sneakers I have in my closet. The soles. Really cute. And I have a, a pink pair also. Like I said, the price was so good and it shipped so fast from Hong Kong. I had it in about 
not even a full week. I was so surprised. And I should really should have ordered more. I mean, I could have. I mean, they were such a good price. I mean, this was barely even $4. And, I mean, you can't even buy Barbie outfits for that price in the Toys R Us. So, it's really good and really good quality. And better quality than in any Barbie shoes. And, you know, of course, Barbie shoes are smaller. Really good quality for a cheap price. And the shipping was included with the price from Hong Kong. And like I said, I got it in not even quite a week. So, anybody buying for dolls, Mimi will go check out her shoes. Okay, guys, I'm back just to show you what the wig and the pajamas look like. I had such a hard time putting this wig on um, because the wig cap I got is too small. It doesn't fit. And um, putting the wig on, even though the wig fits, uh, it was so hard trying not to touch her face up because, um, you know, that can easily smear. Um, but I got it on. I mean, it may be a little bit crooked, but here's Mie. <sighs> Isn't she cute? I mean, I do have to pull a wig down some in the front, but for right now, I mean, her head moves and trying to touch everything is coming off. But she's so cute. Here's the footy pajamas. The other YouTubers were right. Um, the La La Loopsie clothes does fit, like, perfectly. And the wig is such good quality. It's so soft. See the curls? I kind of messed it up a bit trying to get it on her head. Um, I'll have to fix that later, but she's adorable. Uh, yeah, I love it. She's so cute. Really cute. And I mean, I still can't show you her eyes. They're like a deep blue around the edge and the irises are a little paler. You can't really tell on the camera, but they're really pretty. And they're very hard to see um, without good lighting. But isn't she cute? She's adorable. Do you guys like her as much as I do? Yeah, previously I tried to do a size comparison with um, a cube and a nendoroid, and that was just stupid. I should have just used um, one of the nendoroids. I mean, duh, I've been making nendoroid videos for how long now? Um, let me see. I'm trying to get her to stand straight. Here she is. Like I said, adorable. So cute. Um, as usual, for any kind of Nendoroid comparison, who do I go to? Ryuko. Hi, Ryuko. Okay. And here's Mie standing next to Ryuko. And yes, her name is still Mie. Um, I don't want it to be Mie, but it's the name that seems to stick. Like whenever I refer to the doll, I just keep calling her Mie, even though I don't want that name. So I guess her name's Mie. Hey. But yeah, this is her next to Ryuko. This Ryuko on the base, um, standing on the base. Yeah, she's much bigger. Much bigger. I mean, she's still small, but much bigger than an android. Um, and here she is next to the Kapoche figure of Rika. Um, Ryuko's sword fell off. Oh no, her hair is attacking everything. Oh no. But here's her next to the Kapoche, which is bigger than Ryuko, but still bigger than the Kapoche as well, even on the base, but flat on the ground, base level, she's still bigger. And her hair is like swallowing everyone. Um, but she's a great part of my collection. I love her. I love this little doll. I love my Nindos, I love the Kapoche, but I love this really doll. This pretty doll. She's so cute. Um, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.